everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDye.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Sandhan Valley, Arizona. And I want to welcome you to this week's Teach Me Tuesdays. And it's episode 61, I believe. And I'm going to show, I think, a super cute card. And it's just, I think it's really cute. Um... Also, look what I got in the mail today. So this is December's Very Comforting Paper Pumpkin. So make sure that you're on with me tomorrow for my What Jeff Making Wednesdays at 2 o'clock in my YouTube channel. So, um, and then we'll be having fun with um, the Paper Pumpkin. Hey, Marcy. Um, so I thought if I don't mention it now, I'm going to forget because that's just how it is. I got up yesterday and till 1030 in the morning. I thought it was Sunday until somebody said something on Facebook. They said something about it being Monday and I thought, oh, you dear person, it is Sunday. And then I realized I, I was wrong. So, um, so that's why I mentioned the paper pumpkin now, <laughs> because I probably would forget. All right, so I'm going to turn my camera down, and I want to make sure I'm in the group, in the group, in the right spot. And, <clears throat> and I have a frog in my throat, so hopefully I won't be doing that the whole time. Heavens to Betsy. Okay, so let's get started with the cute card that I keep talking about and say, stop jabbering and just show us and don't get so close to the phone. You don't need to see up my nose. Okay, here we go. Turn the phone. Okay. So that should be good. Yeah, okay, that should be good. All right. So let me show you what I'm going to be using today. All right, so today I have a whole little stack of stuff. So remember, remember when I did this card like um, last week or the week before? And remember I said, that this little donkey, if you turn him on his side, it it looked like he could be hanging. So that's all I'm gonna say. All right. <laughs> all right. So um, so the things I'm going to be using today are the layering circles. I'm also going to be using the autumn wheelbarrow. Make sure you can read the writing, the autumn wheelbarrow. And I'm using the fence. Now, autumn wheelbarrow, and there's a stamp set that um, goes with it. I'm not using the stamp set, I'm just using the die. It's actually retiring. So if you like the card, you're gonna wanna get at least the die because this is too cute. I mean, I'm going to be keeping it just because of the, the fence alone. All right, I'm also using the layering squares. I grabbed a bunch of stuff today. I'm also using the happy framelits. I'm not using the stamp set, but it, it does have a stamp set that matches it. Um, so you could stamp the balloons and punch them out. I just chose to punch out the balloons just in cardstock. I didn't stamp them. I'm also using Darling Donkeys, like I've talked about already. I'm also using, as my stack gets taller and taller, Grace's Garden. And I'm also using Campology. Okay. So let me put these back behind me. And hopefully, I showed everything. Okay. So let me get my little pieces. So this is all my little 
little pieces I need. Let me scoot the phone down just a tiny, tiny little bit so I can see. Okay, so I am using the Highland Heather as my um, card base. So let me give it a crease. I'm also using Whisper White Thick as like a card layer that stuff's going to get um, put on. And then I have some fun pieces that I've die cut it out that will be part of the card. So I'm just going to scoop them all up and put in here so I don't make a mess of it. I'm gonna get a little um, piece of paper out because I wanna start um, building my scene. So we're gonna make a scene. I love making a scene, especially if it's on a card, not in a store or anything like that. All right, so I'm going to be using the cute little um the flowers from the grace's garden and i'm just going to stamp them with the memento let me go like this because um i'm going to be coloring them with the blends of course all right so let me get get that on here so i'm going to come up just a little bit And then I want this one up a little higher. And then there's this little flower. This is such a cute set. It's got the little um, garden pieces so that you can make your little scene. All right, and that one's gonna go there. All right, so I'm just gonna scoot that up, let that dry, dry a second. And then when I was doing the little um, donkey card that I just showed you, I did extra donkeys that I didn't need. So I just kept them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color my little donkey. So let me close the pad. So he's, because, you know, don't waste it if you stamped it. So then I'm going to color my little donkey. He's so cute. Now remember, the Darling Donkeys is a celebration set. So during celebration, you're going to be able to earn the Darling Donkey set um, with a $50 order. Screen is a little blurred. Blur. I know. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go to my laptop because it looks fine on the phone. And I'm just going to refresh on my laptop. And see if that helps. Yes, fuzzy sleeves, sister. And now that the lights are on, I really do not need it on because I'm sweating, sweating, sweating. So um, is it better now? Okay, so I know sometimes if you refresh, it will help. I know sometimes when I pull out the little grid sheet, let me do the bigger ones. I sometimes wonder if the grid sheet kind of messes with the, with the, um, whatchamacallit. So, but hopefully when, um, when I upload it to, um, to YouTube, so I'm going to put my little flirty flamingo cheeks. When I upload it to, um, YouTube, I upload it in a high definition on my phone and that seems to help like when you do the rewatch so I apologize it could just be you know more people are using the internet you know all right so this is dark petal petal print or petal print um petal pink and then light petal pink and you've seen me color the little donkey before, but he's so cute. All right, then I'm going to take my light, where is it? My light smoky slate. And I'm just going to give a little bit of dark. I'm gonna flip it over. A little bit of the dark. The, um, 
light smoky slate just so it has um because i'm going to use the going the gray granite but i want to have it just a little bit darker in spots so that's why i chose the light smoky slate and then i will pick my dark gray granite and color right over top of his little pink cheeks so he's still got that pink color and then my light gray granite just to color it in so cute all right so this is a little guy so when you turn him on his side because now there won't be any grass. So when I did him the other day, there was grass. So then obviously he was sitting. Hey, Rhonda. Um, but I'm going to cut him out. And look how fast that was. Oh my gosh. Was that not the fastest cutting out you ever seen? Okay. So now I've cut him out. And I'm going to turn him on his side. So he's hanging. All right, so now I'm going to go back over to my flowers and I'm gonna quickly color them. Now what's so cool about this set is they're flowers. So you don't have to worry about staying in the lines. You don't have to worry about any kind of rules in regards to um, nature. That's why I love coloring nature. So this is just a dark granny apple and I am just quickly adding some color see I'm just it's quick 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 I mean I might even be putting green on a flower because no one is going to be the wiser all right so that was the dark granny apple now I'm going to take the light granny apple and just add some more just so that I've got two different colors of green. And I've got a little um, piece of paper that's bugging me there. Okay, just a little bit. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my light highland tether i know see now it looks blurry again so i have to just kind of like ignore it and just curse under my breath okay so this is just the dark because let me stand up here so when i look through my phone it looks good so that makes me feel when i upload it it should fix itself for the replay okay so this is light highland tether and then I'm going to take my dark purple posy now I love purple posy and the highland tether together and then I'm just going to dot 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 you don't have to worry about going out of the lines like I said because it is flowers it is nature and there's no rules when it comes to coloring flowers in nature if there's not even this kind of color in nature it doesn't matter because we are our own artists okay so now i'm going to take my dark hi jan oh rhonda i don't know about the best color but i do love to do it all right so this is the dark mango and again i'm just quickly adding some yellow i'm not even like trying to stay within the the lines and then this is the light mango so I'm just gonna add a little bit I'm just kind of like tapping that color on and then I'm going to take my light magenta madness and that's just going to add this fun pop of that amazing pink I'm also going to put it in the center of these flowers and it's just going to add just a little bit of fun pink i love this color oh my gosh 
It is so beautiful. Half the time I call it the wrong name, but it is amazing. All right, and I'm gonna put a few little dots around in the top. All right, then we're gonna take our light, um, soft suede, and we are going to ground our flowers. So I'm just taking the brush side and I'm just going to quickly add ground. So I am just adding the ground. I'm not coloring it all the way in. I just want there to be some sort of ground going on here. All right, so that is done. Okay, so now what's going to be fun, now we're going to just start to build our card. And we have the cute little fence that I told you about. So we're going to put a fence here. And then we're going to put a fence here. So then what I'm going to use to glue my fence, we have these long strips. Um, let me get a packet so I can tell you what they're called because I can't. These are just a foam adhesive strip. So practically what I said. So these are the foam adhesive strips. So what I do is I just need a little bit. So I'm going to just take my scissors and I'm just going to cut clear across because that's all I need. I just need a little strip. So then I'm just going to peel it off of there. So this is a little, this is one of those cards that you make for that special friend that totally appreciates what you do for a living because it takes a little bit of time to do. This is not a card you would give to somebody that's going to chuck it in the bin when they get it. All right, so now I'm going to make sure. Okay, so that's good. All right, so then I'm going to peel these off. Because you don't want to, because there are some people that don't really get it. And if you take the time to make a special, special card, you want to make sure the person appreciates it. Okay, so I'm going to stick my fence on like that so now i have my little fence on and i'm to take my scissors yes marcy you would totally get it you totally would a lot of you that are watching would too all right so then now this one is going to go over here so the same thing i'm going to put peel my little things off and I like the these strips they're perfect for the fence because they're the right thickness so I'm not having to cut um, my dimensionals up so that they'll fit which we totally can but these are just perfect all right so then that's going to go on this side. So there's a little opening. All right, so then I'm just cutting off the edge. All right, now if this is a little bit too big, you wanna have a little more of an opening, just go trim, trim. Now you have, I still like to keep this though, because I think that makes it look more realistic. All right, so now, now it's a party. Oh, did I not say it was, it was a party? It is, it's a party. So this is the cute little tiny um, banners. So I'm going to put a little banner on the fence. So I'm just gonna trim this just so I don't have a whole bunch in the way. All right, and then I'm just using my green tip glue that I have in my handy dandy little um, whatchamacallit, shot glass off from the cruise ship. And then you just hot glue. I think I've showed it. 
you just hot glue the lid into the shot glass and then when you're done with the the glue it just goes in there and you can you know when you're done for the day you can spin it but when you're just um using it in between it just stays in there so shelly's daughter is the one that i learned that from she used the bottom of an embellishment i believe but i liked the shot glass was a little bit deeper so that's what I use. All right, so now I'm going to put my little banner on the fence. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Does that not look so stinking cute? All right, so I'm going to just trim that off a little bit. Trim that off a little bit, and I'll probably trim it more after. Okay, and we still need a little banner for this side here. So, just a little bit of glue. Oh my gosh, this sweater. I'm like cooking. I am cooking, people. Okay. I might have to take it off. But the sleeves do look cute. All right, I have to take my sweater off. Good gosh. Good gosh. All right, so look how cute. All right, so we've got our little thing starting. Now, well, let's just set this away. Let's bring out our little donkey. Let's bring out our little balloons. So this is what I mean by, I just um, used the die to cut the balloons. I didn't use the stamp set. And um, I'm gonna refresh my thing. I'm gonna stand up so it still looks good on the phone. So we're just going to Pray that it uploads better. Okay. So I wonder if I take, I think I'm done stamping. I think I am. So I'm going to take away this and see if that helps. All right. So we have our little, we have our little donkey. We have our balloons. And I'm going to take the white gel pen. And I want to put, um, some highlights on my balloons. So this is just the gel pen. I, I know we don't sell them. I just get them off of Amazon. And I'm going to put a little dot. And then I'm going to go up. And then it's a little thicker on the top. And then pull it down. And that kind of gives you that highlight on your balloon. Here, I should have did it on the darker one. All right, so a little dot. Go up. Bigger on the top and down. And that just gives you the highlight. So I'm going to do that on the, the Granny Apple one too. Like that. All right. So then I'm just going to set those aside. Now this is the little... Um, piece that comes from the die that's actually the string of the balloon but I'm not using it for the balloons we will use it for something later so I'm going to set it over there so I don't lose it all right so I'm going to let the gel gel pins dry a little bit before I start fiddle farting around with that all right so what I want to do is I do want to put a little bit of decoration in the sky so I'm going to use the pool party ink pad I'm also going to use the brush. I know they're not called, it's, it's called, I forget what, but you get three of them in a pack. So just like the Darling Donkey, you will get the Darling Donkey if you register for the um, virtual Country Inkers Spring Social, you are getting the Darling Donkey stamp set. You also are going to get one of these brushes. So this is, um, such a fun idea to use with the with the brush. Okay, so this um, shape comes from the die that I got the little banners from, and it makes like a little sky. So I thought, oh, I can use that. If you don't have that, you don't have the banner, 
what you can do is just use your circle, your scallop circle. And what I did was I, I put one of the, the um, post-it notes. Remember I talked about the post-it notes the other day? And these post-it notes um, are a post-it note all over except this little end that has the line. So this whole thing is a post-it note. So they're perfect for masking and things like that. So if you don't have the die that does this, you know, to make this, just put your post-it note on a piece of cardstock, run it through and get your circle scallop, and then you can peel it off. Oops, I should have peeled it off earlier because it's been sitting. So you're gonna peel it off because this is how sticky it is. Da -da -da -da. Peel it off right away, don't let it sit. All right, because I'm getting it to be messed up. Come on, get off of there. All right, so see, now you have the scallop. So that's what I did with the, um, so let me show you on a piece of paper, but I'm gonna use the other one. So let me show you what it would do. I don't wanna do it on this one because I'm gonna use the other shape. So you have your whisper white, then you put your post-it, you take your sponge and you get ink on the sponge. And then I'm gonna start up here, like in the actual post-it and I'm rubbing down. So I'm coming over and I'm getting, you know, more ink in the post-it and rubbing down. Now it doesn't look like it's doing much, but when you pull the post-it away, you can see like really subtly there is like a sky and then you just put it over here and do the same thing. Okay, so then you've got your, your sky happening. All right, but I thought it would be fun to do it with this. So that's what I'm gonna try. So I said try because I didn't actually tr try it with this one yet. So this one, we're going to find out. All right, so I'm going to put it on my card like that. And you want to kind of come down because the sky, this is the whole sky area. So I'm going to get my ink and then again up into here. And I'm just rubbing it and coming down, rubbing it and coming down. And then when you peel it away, look. Look how cool. You have like clouds. And then we're going to we're going to turn it on its side a little bit so they're not all the same way. So we're going to turn it on its side a little bit. And I'm going to get my sponge inked up. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to rub but leave some white. So look how cute. And then we're gonna turn and we're gonna go like this. So again, get the ink on there and then rub. So just try to keep it away from the one you did. Okay, look how cute. So we have this sky happening. So let me just finish my sky. Oops, moved a little bit. So that's why the the um, post-it note helps because it kind of keeps it in, in place for you. But this has got a cute, cute look to it, I think. All right. So it just gives it more of a cloud look than, um, like bigger clouds than the scalloped one. All right, so now we have our sky. Now our sky is not just all the way. Hi, Debbie. Um, it's not just plain. So let's go back to our balloons. I hope you're not bored because this is this is so fun. Okay. So now I have this. This is the twine. We just have the white twine. We have it with the snail dit as well. And I'm just cutting myself like big old long pieces. I'm not even measuring it. I'm just kind of getting myself a long piece because I'm going to be trimming it anyways. All right. 
So what I'm going to do is I am going to use my scotch tape, my, my little, do you think it's tape? It is tape. All right. So I'm going to, first I'm going to take a glue dot. You're like, my golly golly, this card is long. But when you make a scene, it does take a little bit of time. All right. So I'm going to put a glue dot here. Glue dot here. Get on there. Get on there. And a glue dot here. Then, yes, it's really soft and subtle, Jan, this sky. It really is. But it does make a difference. So then it's not just this white sky. And then you're not having to color it in either, like all the way. All right, so I'm just going to stick my um, baker's twine into the glue dot. And then... like that all right but then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wrap it around and go up so see what I did I wrapped it around and then I went up into the balloon and then that's when your scotch tape will come in handy and it's too much scotch tape so then you'll trim it in half So I'm just putting my scotch tape up there. Then I'm going to pull it down. So what this does is it gives that look of a balloon, like that the balloon um, has got the thread on it or whatever. And then I'm gonna take my dimensionals and I'm going to put a dimensional right here and that's going to force that to stay there. So I'm gonna do the same thing on all my balloons, okay? So wrap, wrap, go up. And then where's that piece of scotch tape that I cut? It's probably stuck to my pants because I don't know, see it. All right, so then the scotch tape. And then pull it down like that. And then the dimensional, which will keep that string where it needs to stay. And then I'm putting another dimensional. Okay, does that make sense? Hope that makes sense. All right, so again, wrap, wrap up into the balloon. A tiny piece of scotch tape. You know how hard it is to rip off a tiny little piece of scotch tape? All right. Without cutting your fingers off in the blade of the ripper thing. All right. Down. So this would be something you would do like when you're watching TV. You could get all your balloons like all the way ready. All right. Okay, so there my balloons are ready. Then we need to get um, our little donkey ready. So what I want to do is I want to put a dimensional on his head. I also want a dimensional on his neck. So this is where I'm going to cut the dimensionals a little bit. Oh, and I found that piece of scotch tape stuck to my finger. All right, so he's he's got a little bit of a dimensional on his neck as well. All right, but what I want to do is you're going to take your balloons. All right, oh, let me bring the card back. All right, so we're going to put our balloons so that they're up in the sky like this. So I haven't attached them because I'm just visually doing them now. Like I just want them to be in place. All right. So we have our balloons like that, like they're flying in. And then our donkey is going to be here. Okay. We're going to drop him into the backyard. Santa is busy. UPS is busy. FedEx is slow. The poor mailman is stressed. So we needed a different way 
to deliver the donkeys. And the balloons are delivering the donkeys this year. All right, so that's where he's going to go. Okay, so then I'm going to put another little dimensional on the back of the donkey. And I'm just going to light, lightly tap him. Okay, because I want him to be here. So I want him to grab hold of the balloons, but I don't want him on the card yet. I know you're going good grief. Change the channel already. All right, so we have our little, trim them off without cutting my donkey. So see, I cut them too long, but I'd rather have them too long. All right, so see, the balloons are attached to the donkey now. And then I want to get another little piece of twine. Poor Debbie, I don't know. I guess it's just, <laughs> when you work at home all by yourself, I guess you come up with stories, right? All right, let me move that out of the way. All right, because what I'm going to do is, I want this, can you see? I want this to be, there because what I want to do is I want this to wrap around because it's going to tie so this is going to go around here all right so now my little donkey can come on the card okay and then the little balloons will go up I want to keep track of that. So my balloons are going to come up and up. They're still, I haven't taken the, the adhesive off the back of the dimensional yet. All right. But what this is, is this is actually going to wrap around and keep the tails of the balloons together. But it's also putting them so that they look like they're tied onto the donkey tail. Okay. And then we can trim them. Trim, trim. All right. So see, he's getting dropped into the card. So now you can take the little backs off the dimensionals. Yep, just me and my donkeys. Telling stories over here at the studio. All right. So see, that's that's a little balloon there. The back's off of this one. So you see, like, you wouldn't want to make a hundred of these cards. But one, two, three, four, five of them would be cute. All right. So I want that to go out of that card just a little bit. And the last little balloon, get. All right, so then that little balloon is gonna go up here. So look how cute. So now the little balloons are delivering the little donkey to the yard, but we have to have a little, little greeting, right? So then I did the hey there friend, and that comes from the donkey set. So I'm just gonna use a couple dimensionals. And I'm going to put that up in the sky. It is cute if you, I mean, it does take some time, but like I said, I mean, not all cards have to be fast. All right, so you've got your little, hey there friend. So he's zooming in. So let's put it on the card. So I'm going to use, um, glue dots to put it on the card, just so it pops a little bit. I mean, it doesn't have anything on the back, so you could just use, you know, regular adhesive, but I'm using the glue dots just so it pops. Just a tad. All right, so stick that on the card. Like that. And then we have to put something on the inside, right? 
All right. Oh, this is, oh, oh, okay. So this is what you have to tell me. Um, okay, so this is actually what you would put on the bottom of the balloon. But I used my own thread, or you could put it here. But you know what? When you drop your donkey into your yard, he really needs a pair of protective goggles. So this is so he doesn't put his eye out while he's landing. So I'm just going to use the green tip glue, just a little bit of green tip glue. And this will protect our little donkey's eyeballs. And it's really small. So, all right. So now he's got glasses on. Look at how funny. He almost looks like he's um super donkey. Like that's like he's a, a Marvel character. So anyways, okay, so let's finish the inside of the card. All right. Um, so I am going to stamp the donkey that is kicking. So there's a kicking donkey or dancing. I don't know what he's doing, but I think he's been into the eggnog. All right, so I'm going to put the little kicking donkey on the inside of my card. So there he is, let him dry good. And what I did do was, ahead of time, I cut, I mean, I stamped. This is the um, Happy Trails. So this comes with the Campology stamp set. So what I'm doing is I'm going to cut this out. So I'm just using my, just my paper snips. So I'm cutting out happy trails. And I'm going to cut happy apart from trails. And I'm going to put a little bit of green tip glue on the card, like right there. So I'm gonna put my happy right there. Get up into there. All right, and then what I wanna do is I wanna cut the R away from trails. So I'm gonna cut the R right off of there. So then I'm gonna put a little bit more glue a little bit of green tip. Oops, I might have put too much. Okay, there we go. Then we're gonna go, let me trim that just a little bit more. All right, so I'm gonna put ales and find my T and put my T And now the card says, Happy Tails. Is that funny or is that stupid? I think it's funny. <laughs> so anyways, but, so there's the fun, fun little card for today. Now this is the one I've been looking at. So this is the one I made. You know, I always have one that I, I make ahead of time. So this is the one I made ahead of time and I used the that oh my gosh the car the color i can never remember the magenta madness so this card had the magenta madness as the main card but the same thing happy tails but i liked and i and i also had a smaller border around the edge of this one so when i did the other one i'm like okay i want to have a little bit of a bigger border so I cut this piece a little bit smaller so that I could see this color better. And I wanted it to be a little bit darker. Plus, I didn't use a whole lot of the Magenta Madness for coloring on this card. I used more of the Highland Heather. So I wanted to pull from the flowers because the flowers had the Highland Heather. So that's why I chose um, to switch it out with the Highland Heather, but, um, and then I didn't put the glasses on him on this one, but 
and then you can see. So this is the difference between the two backgrounds. So this is with the scallop, and then this is with the dye. So it's a totally different look of the sky, but it still gives you that cloud look. So, but anyways, but hopefully you think that they're fun. I mean, I think they're, I think they're hilarious, but, um, but that's just, that might be just my sense of humor. <laughs> so, but, um, but like I said, when I was using that donkey the last week or whatever, and I said, he looks like he could be flying. So it's been in the back of my head since then. So I just had to do that. I've been thinking of that, thinking of that. Oh, and also the campology. So this is another thing. So I couldn't decide what I wanted to do for my background. Like, and I ended up going with the sky like I did. So this was the campology. So I had stamped it first and it's like these big trees. And then I was going to put, you know, this down here and then the donkey would be flying in, in between the trees. Um, so I almost went that route. And then I thought, well, I kind of liked that he was landing in a garden. So then I chose to go, you know, the way I did go. So anyways, it's fun. I love to make scenes on cards. And he turned out too cute. So, okay, so I want to thank you for joining me today. It went, went kind of long, but uh, I hope you, maybe you'll try to make a card like that. Um, you probably will not be making this card for the spring social, um, but you would be able to, to do your own card later because you would get your own um, donkey set for the spring social. So, um, if you haven't signed up for that, make sure you do. If you're in Canada, make sure you holla at Marcy Denning because that's who you'll register through for um, the Canada one. And we have our Over the Border Facebook group. A lot of you are already members of that. Um, make sure that if you aren't, that you let either one of us know that you want to join. And um, if you're here for the first time, thank you for for joining me I'm gonna upload it to um, my YouTube channel if you're new to there please subscribe please give me a thumbs up um, hopefully you like the donkey card let me know where you're visiting from and I will see you tomorrow for the paper pumpkin at two o'clock ooh, ooh. look at it's a little can you see? Little koala bear. All right. Um, so yeah, two o'clock Arizona time live on my YouTube channel tomorrow for my What You Making Wednesdays. So um, I'm gonna say see you later. Thanks for um, joining me today and we'll see you tomorrow. Night everybody.